I think it's been four weeks, but look at my spinach. It's finally, finally coming. See it there. And there are still some spots that it's not sprouting just yet. But there are a lot of them that have, so I'm pretty excited. Some of them are in a little bit of a clump. But look at that. I'm so happy. Little by little, as we're getting more sun and out of the like super gloomy days, which we're still gonna get, but you can see how in the little you can see it there, can you? No, you can't. There you go. That green. There's more here. Little green one. And for the most part are sprouting on the little holes that I made and I covered with soil. So I'm pretty happy about that. We'll see. I mean, there's still a lot of them that haven't yet, but kind of excited. Every morning I come and there's more. Can you see it over there? This one over there. Every morning there's a new one. Oh, look. This one is a brand new one. So excited! Been feeling this one. This is a lot of what's on the ground here that is already composted to kind of help not to sink so much. And then that is from the girls. Look at that. That is my onion. Or onions. You can see it right there sprouting. There's another one here. That was the very first one. But look. Not every single one has done it, but it's happening. Now this is broccoli. Um, and it was sprouting, but I've noticed that some of the seeds were not deep enough. So I added a little bit of soil and uh, it kind of covered the sprouts. But it needed end. Although last night I left it open, so it was down here. Oh, right there. I don't think you can see it, but that little tiny green that's happening. Now here I have peas. This ones are the sugar daddy. And then this one I also covered, but there were a lot of them that were sprouting. I don't know, but this is cabbage. And we had a really cold spell and I don't have the room to keep them inside anywhere but this little small greenhouse that we built. So now I'm going to let them soak in the sun. I know! What kind of person am I? Throw the food first. And the you guys can come outside. We'll come outside in a minute. This is kind of a construction zone right now. We've been working on that expansion over there. But the girls are ready to come out. We've encountered a problem over there where there's a root there where we're setting the posts and it's ginormous, I assume, out of this tree. So that's taking a while, but it's coming along. I'm excited. This is going to eventually come out. These doors are going to, and this is going to be some kind of a shelving unit and can't hello wait. friends and welcome back to the heavenly homestead I feel the same way that I look um, I'm still kind of breaking out in hives and 
dealing with my allergy, so excuse my face, but I, want I don't know if you remember our breeding season, but it was a mess. It really was a mess. We um, were breeding, and then some of them would come back into heat in about five to eight days, and that is just a short cycle. So I would put them back with the buck, and you know, they would just breed again and you know if I didn't see any more signs of heat that meant that it worked but I had to do it with three different does including mocha and one of the things that I do remember is that the first time I put mocha with a bug it was with Rocky and then I changed my mind because when she short cycled she sh sh you know, she was on in heat the same day that Annabelle was in heat, and I was gonna put Annabelle with Dom, and so I figured I'm gonna put Mocha with Dom, and that way, you know, I just, you know, he can be here and he can breed them both at the same time, and I don't have to kind of work around the other pen re to take the other boys out and that kind of stuff. So the second time I brought her to Dom, which now that I'm thinking about it, that was kind of dumb. I do need one more daughter from Rocky to uh, work on my breeding program and what my hope and plan is for Rocky and to kind of show him as a proven buck, like producing good girls that go in milk test and stuff. And you know, he would need three different girls from three different moms. And I have one from Clara, one from Annabelle, but I don't have one from Mocha. So. It would have worked out if Mocha was actually pregnant on October 1st, but apparently she didn't take and I had to go back to Dom. And this was, I can't remember, the day that they were bred. But, and I almost feel like it took a while for them, for her to short cycle. Like, it wasn't like your typical short cycle four days. Um, Briar is like so needy right now. I've been checking her ligaments there, but there, there's nothing wrong. Like, she has a lot of sounds in her room and, and she's just super, super like needy right now. So you're gonna see her coming everywhere. Right here. She's a blue girly. She is a blue girly. And look at her big belly. You have a belly and your belly is big. But this is food. Maybe there are some children on that side too. Because of your belly on this side. And it starts to push on your belly on the other side. Now you know what happened to your belly, don't you? She loves loves getting love in her her belly she actually loves it and right now she is biting her side <laughs> you see a ginormous belly how many girls you have in that belly for me you have one million girls in that belly i don't think so can you can we not can we be nice to grammy and it's funny because remember I told you guys that she loves when I pet her at her. I'm, I'm right here petting her at her and she loves it. Clara, excuse you, Clara. Anyway, so I was doing the math and don't quote me on dates, but uh, Mocha would have had to have her kids. I think it would have been on the 22nd if she took <laughs> the first time that she was with Rocky that would work out just perfectly honestly even though I'm not quite ready for her to have her babies if she actually took with Rocky and we'll, we'll be able to tell and we have to DNA test them anyways but if she was with Rocky and she ended up pregnant of Rocky and she delivers on February or around February 22nd or 25th then we know that she definitely took the first time. I don't know really if that's even possible. 
scientifically speaking. I don't know if that's even possible. Now, Clara also short cycle. The two times that I had Clara in heat, she was both times with Taz, our blue-eyed and polled buck. And so it doesn't really matter what it is. They're trying to eat my camera right now. So it's gonna be an interesting, an interesting ending of this video. So thank you for being here today. As you can see, everyone is pretty much back to normal. We just have to really endure the last two weeks before kidding starts. It's all gonna kick off with Clara and Gaia, so we're still, um, that's a plan. Assuming that she was bred the second time when uh, she short cycled. These girls are such a mess, such a mess. For those of you that were waiting to hear news about the girls are fine.